What's going on, everybody? It's Nico, and uh, got some potentially bad news for some of you. I probably won't be uploading as much anymore, and that's because I'm going to try streaming. I've always talked about how I like Twitch TV better than YouTube anyway, so I figured it would. it's about time that I give this an actual shot, and my schedule is pretty much going to be Monday through Friday. Um, yeah potentially on the weekends as well i'm not sure um when okay so i know for a fact it will be monday through friday um saturday sunday may or may not happen it most likely will just because i don't have work those days so it'll be easier for me to stream but it'll probably be from let's see i usually get home around 3 3 30 um so like around 4 p.m eastern time so Eastern, actually daylight time, now that we've gone to day, like, or is it standard time now? Shit, I don't know. Nope, bad cat. Um, but Eastern time till like 6 p.m. Eastern time. I'm going to try to stream for at least two hours at until my like endurance, quote unquote, is better. Because getting off of work and then immediately trying to be like on still because, you know, I work at Target. And, uh, you know, it's a customer service job. I have to be on. And if you don't know what that means, then you probably have, A, not done YouTube or, like, any kind of entertainment position or been in customer service. Basically, even if you're having a shitty day, you don't want the guests to know. So whenever whenever anybody comes up to you, you're like, hi, how can I help you? It's a thing you turn on, which is why people say, like, I have to be on. And to do that for six hours, because I actually come in two hours before the store opens and then come home and do it for two more, kind of draining. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try that out. If you don't know my Twitch link, it's Twitch TV slash Nico All Powerful, just spelled like it is on YouTube. And yeah, we're going to be playing sometimes like I'm, right now. I'm not going to be playing much Paladins just because uh, Mass Effect Andromeda comes out next week. And I have Origin Access, so I will be able to play it for, a, like, not a week early, but five days early for ten hours. So, me being a smart person went, okay, easy. I'll play the multiplayer two hours a day until the game releases, and then we're going to go hard on the single player. Boom. Easy mode. And so, yeah. So, just as soon, and that's in three days. So, March 16th, expect that like on stream just mass effect and trauma multiplayer for two hours and then uh, i know trent or pixelated apollo if you follow total war stuff at all um we're real life friends he and i have been playing a lot of rust recently might stream that after i get done playing mass effect because i you know I, i'm probably gonna still be playing there's no reason for me not to stream it if i'm playing but yeah, not too many, like not too much Paladins, because today, um, as of recording this video, March 13th, I'm going to probably start streaming and probably stream a Paladins match or two. I'm not exactly sure, uh, but I'm going to switch over most likely to Mass Effect 3 so I can actually try and like, I, you know, I might do multiplayer just because I don't think I'm going to finish that game in time before Andromeda which is a thing I tried to do is play through every Mass Effect game before Andromeda came out, but then Horizon Zero Dawn and For Honor and Neo came out, so I kind of messed that up. <laughs> and so, yeah. Also, Horizon was a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I was excited for it, but I was like, I'm holding off for reviews before I buy that game, and it turned out to be amazing. And I'm one trophy away from getting a platinum trophy on that game, and it'd be my first one. So, actually, you know what? We might just do that on stream. I'll do Paladins, and then I'll do the... I'll get the platinum trophy for Horizon. I'm not sure. I'm trying to think about it. Uh, but, yeah, we'll play Paladins for a minute, but not too long, just because I'm not really in the mood to play something super competitive. And, yeah. I'm going to be streaming a lot more, trying to, like, really get into that because, I mean, my YouTube channel has kind of just died, and I know that's my fault, but at the same time, it's it's not – I can't recover from it at all. There's just no way for me to come back from me, you know, taking days off and stuff. Like, I, I took way too many days off and weeks off when, like, I shouldn't have. It's like at first when Smite came out, or not came out, but when I was doing Smite, and then I moved out and stopped uploading, 
that murdered my channel. I come back later with Paladins, and then it's starting to grow really rapidly because they just announced it for Xbox, and it just came to Steam and all that stuff. I like, I was like, oh, I'm right here. And then the views dropped, and I got sick, and I, you know, a bunch of stuff happened, and so I stopped uploading, and then it just kind of screwed everything up. And, you know, that shit happens. You know, bad things are, happen are going to happen in real life, but it just feels like since my videos aren't even breaking a hundred views at all anymore, I felt like now is a good time to switch because I still want to play and I want to like be an entertainer and like make content, I guess you could say it, but it just doesn't seem viable on YouTube anymore because my channel is just kind of dead in the water and I really don't want to make another YouTube channel that has like a general focus around something because to be honest, I don't know if there's a game out there that I can play for hundreds of hours anymore. Like I did that with the division, but that was over a longer period of time. <clears throat> and like, I have 190 hours in the division. I have probably like a thousand or more hours in or probably even more than that in smite. But these are all games that like the division I was playing with one of my friends and then smite. I was playing with a bunch of my friends and now, yeah, sometimes we get on on the weekend to play smite, but we don't even play conquest anymore because it's just, it, it's a more competitive mode. It take like one of my, <laughs> one of our friends never even played conquest. So he doesn't, he hasn't learned it. Like even back when yeah, like, in season two or one, I don't remember when he started playing, but like he never played conquest low while leveling up. So every time he tried to play it at level 30, it just sucked for him. So he didn't want to play it, which is understandable. But, um, and then stuff like, it's just stuff like that, where it's like, nobody wants to play conquest anymore, except for me. And if we're going to be together, like playing together, then, you know, majority rules, we're not going to be playing conquest. <laughs> so, even though we play Smite, it's not like, you know, like it was before at all. And then on top of that, like nobody plays Paladins with me. I just solo queue, which, which is boring. Like it's just not as fun. So it, there aren't any like multiplayer games that I have a lot of friends to play with. So I feel like streaming, I'll probably play a lot more single player stuff. I might dabble in some multiplayer games, especially if they like really pique my interest, but for the time being, I see myself as doing, like, a variety of single-player games, in all honesty. I just don't see me, like, having the will or want to playing multiplayer games and trying to learn them and be, like, semi-competitive at it. Just for the simple fact that I don't have anyone else to play with. And that's half of what makes learning and playing those games fun, is having someone else to play with them. So, seeing as how that isn't really an option anymore probably won't happen yeah i mean yeah trent and i are playing rust but it's not like a competitive game it's more it's a survival um what do they call those games survival whatever i don't remember but you know it kind of like a minecraft except you can also get on servers with a couple hundred people and kill each other stuff like that um man i don't remember what they're called but yeah and it i mean we play it kind of like minecraft and then just craft weapons and stuff so we can defend ourselves from raids. Also, this was fun, except not really, because I'm pretty sure Victor lost his ultimate right there. And I, it's just, it was a weird, like, I don't know, lag? I don't know. It was just a huge lag spike right there, which sucked. Um, but yeah, so we play Rust, and it. I don't know if my CPU is actually garbage or what, because it's an i7 4570K. And from what I know, that's not a bad CPU. Yet every single time I play someone, like Rust, maybe maybe it's unoptimized as hell or what, but on, I think I put it on simple, or no, I put the graphics on good when like when it, before it launches, and the game drops below like to like 30 something frames per second. Like, I'm like, how... I understand it's an early access game, so it might just be really unoptimized, but like, how does a game like that run crappy on my computer? I have a 1070, 16 gigabytes of RAM, an i7 4570K. It's installed on a solid state drive. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> it just seems insane to me um, that there's games that just 
seem to not really work that well for me. Like Paladins runs like garbage <laughs> for most of the time. Smite, I can't record at highest settings and play at the same time. Like I don't get it. It's like, and even like when I don't record Paladins or Smite, so they struggle to stay above 60 FPS, which is insane to me. It's like I spent all this money on a computer and then it's just, I mean, it seems like these games are just really just god awfully optimized because like for honor i can play at maximum settings and record at the same time and that game looks good and it doesn't dip below like 80 fps like like i'm getting more than enough frames in that game but these like free to play and open not open but early access games suck a whole lot of penis and just don't seem to want to run well it's just something I've never really understood, especially for um, free to play, because it's like you think you'd want your game to be really optimized. So when people play it, no matter what they're playing on, they can run it. But I don't know. Uh, High res just doesn't seem to know how to optimize their games at all, because from what I can tell and from, you know, experience, they just don't know how to do it. People always complain that their games all the, like all of a sudden a patch comes out and people's frame rates have dropped dramatically and nothing else has changed. It's just the patch. Like, which just doesn't make any sense to me. How do you do like, how do you change stuff in the game that isn't graphical yet? All of a sudden everybody's reporting massive frame raw, like frame rate loss. It doesn't make any sense, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> so Yeah. Uh, it's a little tangent that I didn't mean to get on, but did. Oh, well. <laughs> but, um, so I'm hoping that the streaming thing works out better than the YouTube thing because the YouTube thing doesn't seem to really work out too well. And I don't know. I'm hoping it works out well, but, you know, it just, you know, got to put that work in, the time, dedication, all that good stuff, and hope it pays off. Um, I'm not really like looking to make a living off of it, though I am looking to maybe help because to be honest, working at Target kind of sucks. And if I could work from home, that would be way better. <laughs> you know, of course that would work, be way better. That's not the goal. Like it's the dream. It's not the goal of it. The goal is to just have fun and be entertaining and have an outlet for my like creative side and like, you know, comedic side and all that stuff. Like I want to have fun and like have fun with more people, which is one of the things I liked about when I was getting like three to four to 500 views when I was uploading regularly with smite and stuff. I was like, man, all these people are watching. That's really cool. And people are like, Oh, I can't wait to watch your videos when I come home. It makes my day better. And I'm like, that's awesome. I like the thought of that. Like it, it's just a cool thought to know that somebody's coming home and they're like, awesome. I get to look forward to watch said video and stuff like that. So if I could do that again with streaming, it's like, oh, I get to come home and Nico's streaming and yeah, we get to hang out and chat and all that stuff. And if we're playing multiplayer, maybe I get to play with them, which is a thing in Mass Effect Andromeda since, you know, co-op multiplayer, I'm not going to get mad if you suck at co-op. <laughs> like, so definitely if you also have Origin Access and Mass Effect Andromeda, when I play those two hours of multiplayer, you're welcome to hop in and play with me. I don't mind that at all. Um, and then later on when the game unlocks, I'll definitely be playing multiplayer because Mass Effect 3 multiplayer is good and all of the first impressions from packs and then from people reviewing the game are like, they're all good. The people that played it at packs were like, the controls are amazing. It's no longer space bar rules everything, which is, oh God, I can't wait till not having to press space bar for literally everything. Um, and then on top of that, it just the cover system is fluid and works way better and all just everything about this game sounds great so far and that's great i can't wait to play it and i'm really excited and hopefully people turn out because that would be cool and like you know and then like getting partnered would be really awesome in all honesty make little emotes of my cat and some other stuff it just, it just, it's all fun. And Twitch just seems like a better outlet for this just because, I don't know, they support the people that, you know, work on their site. Whereas I'm pretty sure PewDiePie can't even get anything done on YouTube side. <laughs> like if, even if he asks questions, they're just like, eh, I don't know. Fuck it. 
Like, it just seems like the people at YouTube give no shit about their creators at all. Like, even their top creator, like, it doesn't seem like they give a shit about, like, with concerns or any kinds of criticism, which is insane to even think about. It's like the person making you the most money, you don't give a shit about how the site's operating or running or anything. Really? Like, fucking what? So... Whereas even like Twitch even listens to little people like re at PAX, they were like, yeah, so the uh, guidelines to get partnership are the least strict that they've ever been. It's literally like there's no concrete viewers you have to have or anything like that. It's just have an engaged chat, be constantly like be growing and having like good amount of viewers and then stream on a regular basis, like have a schedule set up. And I'm like. Oh my god, did I pick, like, the perfect time to get into streaming? Because those partnership guidelines sound like, you know, not hard to achieve. <laughs> like, I have a schedule set up, and then I'm going to break that schedule, kind of, when Mass Effect comes out. Because I'm probably going to... Like, anytime I'm going to play that game, I'll probably just start stream. Like, <laughs> I'll probably start when I say I will. Like, when on the weekdays or whenever I work, from, like, four to however long I play... I probably won't play that much on the weekdays because I have chores and other grown-up things to do. That, and I don't want to neglect my girlfriend that much because that would be rude. Um, or my cat. That's Both of those things are rude. They both require attention and love. Um, also, this last part here is fucking crazy. Like, it goes up. This, like, fight for the middle goes on for a while. At least it felt like it. Um, but, yeah. So, but, you know, weekends... Or days off, because I'm not getting scheduled five days a week right now just because the hours aren't there. Um, but, like, days off, I'm going to go pretty hard on Mass Effect. Like, I'm talking long streams and stuff. So, hopefully you guys enjoy that. Uh, and if you don't, oh well, that's what I'm going to be doing because that's the game I want to play and have wanted to play all year. <laughs> And, like, even before, like, I'm pretty sure I'm started following everything when, like, they first showed that gameplay trailer, like, before Christmas last year or something. I can't remember. Um, but I've been excited about it since, man, they hinted at it, like, years ago. Like, there was this, like, Unreal Engine 4 tech demo with, like, a Mass Effect-inspired character. And I was like, is this, like, a tease for them? Is that is, Bi is Bioware working on a new Mass Effect game? That's what happened on here? So what's going on? Because if so, that's pretty cool. But that was that was forever ago, and I was excited then. And then to find out like an actual game is coming out soon was kind of amazing. So I'm really excited, and hopefully you guys don't mind the fact that I won't be playing Paladins or Smite or whatever High Res puts out next. Because who knows what the fuck they'll put out next? <laughs> um, but yeah, that's you know what's gonna happen hopefully you like follow me for me and not just for the game i play that would be really cool if not that's fine there are plenty of streamers i don't watch if i don't find the game they're playing enjoyable in any way shape or form that's i understand how that is 100 <clears throat> percent. so i get it but yeah i'm hoping it goes well and i hope you guys enjoy it and all that good stuff uh, game's coming to an end. We unfortunately lose, but I had to get this real quick so I could make this video so you guys understand why I'm not going to be uploading as much anymore. I'll probably do, I might do like stream highlights or something, but other than that, I, it's just, I don't see the point in putting all this effort into YouTube to get nothing out of it. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. Hope you joined the stream. About to go live in about an hour. So as of recording this, because it's 3.11. So yeah, hope to see you there. Peace out.